In this video, let's talk about the best sewing machines to make a sneaker. So there's three different sewing machines when it comes to making sneakers. First is a bad boy like that, a patcher, a cylinder bed. That's what I have, I have a Conso 29BL. Second is a post bed sewing machine and that's where the pole sticks up in the middle of it. And then third is just a flat bed sewing machine. I've been getting asked a lot lately what sewing machine I use, so let's talk about that. And we're also gonna talk about other sewing machines that I'd recommend over it. But first of all, as I said, I got a Conso 29BL. I'm not gonna show it just because every single video I make, you see me using that. But that's a sewing machine I use as electric motor on the bottom it has brushless and as well as a handle on the side so it seems like I've had this sewing machine for about three years or so maybe even four years I got it with the bed so it came with a brushless motor as well as a bed some sewing machines like the patcher back there you can get it without the motor on the bottom but I ended up getting mine with the motor just because I use it a lot even though you don't see it much in the videos but that's what I use I love it there's a lot of like good things I like about it there's also a lot of bad things I like about it compared to like a post bed or a flat bed so let's talk about my console 29 bl so as you can see i got the machine i got it with the table i also got it with the brushless engine so that goes down to like 500 stitches per minute i think that's the count on it but it's very cool it's very nice and it's one of those sewing machines that are a ferrari but you have to understand how to use it or else it's it's one of the worst machines ever it's one of those machines where you got to be advanced you can't be like a beginner sewer you can't even be like a beginner shoemaker or even like a middle middle tier and i'm not saying that i'm advanced but i've been able to use it for like i think three or four years now so i have a lot of stitches on it i know it like the back of my hand so i've been able to really like teach myself really fast on that but this is a sewing machine that i, I don't really recommend unless you're advanced but i mean i get a Lots of questions about it and we're going to talk about the post bed as well as a flat bed those are two sewing machines that i recommend to get if you're a beginner or like intermediate but this sewing machine tension is very hard it's very delicate there's like three different tensions up there and you gotta you gotta like turn one and not turn the other or turn the other other way and then turn it, it's it's like a full-on clock right like a sewing machine is pretty much a clock there's like a thousand pieces going on at once and if the timing goes off just a little bit it's ruined i mean i've taken this machine apart I think twice now so I actually know the insides of it and the first time I think I had it apart for a week because I took it apart and it just laid there and I was like oh my gosh but I I had to get through it because there was a couple pieces that got messed up so I had to go in there lube back up oil it up and then before you know you know I know how to take apart a sewing machine but at the end of the day I don't recommend anything like that sewing machine at all unless you get the the patcher that's on Amazon for like 50 bucks and get that one that's a great one as long as you take it apart you clean it up you modify it a little bit there's thousands of videos on youtube about that and you do that process but yeah don't don't get something like that even though i love it i use it 24 7 let's talk about one that's a lot better if you want to learn how to make sneakers just like me join my shoemaking course link down in the description i teach you from start to finish how to make your own sneaker i teach you how to make patterns deconstruct reconstruct you can apply these to any other sneakers like air force ones dunks Jordans, you name it, you could create it. You know, create something from scratch. It's 100% online, you get it a full on year. Join it today, you don't wanna miss out. So the second machine I'm gonna talk about, and it's the one that it's very expensive still, you know, for most people, but if you don't have a spending budget or you're looking to save money, this is what I recommend, the Texo 810. It's a post bed sewing machine. What do you mean by post bed? Post bed is the thing comes out in the middle where the bobbin hooks into, and then the needle goes here, and then has a walking, it has a wheel on it. Compared to this, this is like a cylinder. This is a cylinder arm, so it comes out sideways. But post bed sewing machine tech so it's a very it's like a cadillac right now that's a ferrari like if you're just learning it's a great machine to learn on now as i said i think it's like 800 or nine no not 800 1800 or 1900 or 2000 something something around there that's like the price range for them right now if we're going to talk about cheap sewing machines go on facebook marketplace go on craigslist you could get a lot of sewing machines that are used and they might be 500 to a thousand maybe even like 1500 but it's still a lot cheaper than brand new and 99 percent of the time if like you're getting it from someone they know what they're doing and it's a very nice sewing machine but a post bed sewing machine this is like the best one to learn on if you don't have a budget and it's just it's an amazing sewing machine it has all the bells and whistles you also got the winder you got everything going on now the difference with this is that the post bed comes out on the middle so you're able to flex the leather over and it's really nice it also has a wheel on the side and normally you could use that with your knee so underneath you'll be pushing your foot which is the foot on the leather and it pushes it left or right and you can push it up or down so you're actually like it's a full-on body workout but it's a really nice sewing machine that's the one that i learned on i'd recommend it 10 
out of 10. I can't say enough about it. Why don't I have one? Honestly, I don't really know. I should probably get one very soon. Once a YouTube channel will blow up, then I could buy one. Third is gonna be the flatbed sewing machine. I have an industrial one over here. Now, if you're in like the, the cheaper area, you don't have that much money to spend, I recommend the Heavy Duty Singer. It's a great sewing machine. I personally haven't used it, but I know a lot of people that do. It's a big old gray box. I'm pretty sure it's linked down on one of the Amazon links. So definitely check that out because it helps me out. And then also you get it for really cheap. I think it's like two, three, 400 bucks, something around that area. Don't listen to me, but I'm pretty sure it's like in that price range. It's the cheapest one that you could get for like sewing leather, but it's a really nice machine. I know a lot of people that use it. I personally haven't used it before, but a lot of people like to use that. Now, if you want, you know, something a little bit better around the thousand dollar range, get an industrial sewing machine, industrial flatbed sewing machine. I'm pretty sure like everyone are selling these on Facebook marketplace. So instead of getting a brand new one, I recommend looking on there. Cause like at least where I live, there's three or four on there 24 seven and they go for about 800, 900 bucks. Also there's like repair sewing machines in town that sell old industrial sewing machines. Now they're a little bit more expensive than Facebook, but they're also cheaper than brand new because most of the time the person will go through the whole sewing machine, clean it up, put on new part, change it in and out, get the timing back to normal so that it's good to go. So definitely check that out because I have a gentleman in my town that does a great job. He's actually worked on a lot of my sewing machines, but get a flatbed sewing machine and dust real like I have the little brute and if you can't afford that then go for like the singer brother also has a really great heavy-duty uh, sewing machine comment down below any questions that you have for me we can make full-on videos about it I mean if you guys have any questions please comment it down below I can make a full-on video of it more in depth because I don't really know what people know and what they don't know so if you guys don't know anything feel free comment down below so I could answer it for you or if it's an easy one I could just like type it out and give you the answer instead of making a full-on video with that but hopefully that helps hey we're growing this channel we're growing this community you guys help me out I really appreciate it we're posting every single day make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications and check this video out right here Boop.